Okay, let's talk about chord inversions. When I'm playing a G chord, it's just called a G because a G is the bass note of the chord and because the three notes in it, the first, third, and fifth notes of the G major scale, are what make up a major triad. So when you're playing a G chord on guitar, you're playing a triad, but you're playing more than the triad. Well, here's a triad. Or Those are all G triads, but when you're playing a chord, like an open chord, you're playing six notes. So you're still only playing those three notes, G, B, and D, but you're doubling. You got three Gs. You've got two Bs. And you've got a D. Now, if you change the order, you change the bass note mainly to a B. If you're writing a chord chart, you want to call it a G over B. In the number system, that would be a 1 over 3 in the key of G. Okay, if you play a C chord, you assume that the C is the bass note. If C is not the bass note, like if you're playing a C, G bass note, that's called the second inversion of the chord, and the fifth note of the scale is the bass note. So that would be a 1 over 5 chord if you're writing it in numbers, in the key of C, of course. Okay, so um, when you're playing a D chord, for instance, got a D, you've got the D triad, and you've got a D bass note, the first inversion would be putting the F sharp, the third, in the bass. If you play a D, and you're playing the A bass note, and you're writing a chord chart, you need to call that a D over A, because it's inversion of the major triad.